tell me when to blast off. Hello and welcome to Kilmallock on a beautiful Sunday, August the 1st, 1982, for the 1982 South Final between Galbally and Croom, a continuation of the saga between Croom and Galbally, where we have no South champions for 81, and today's match is to decide who will win the South in 82. The winners of today's game will meet the losers of the West Final, St. Kieran's, and the losers of today's match will play the winners of the West Championship as Gaten. Both teams now are out on the field. Galbury having kicking around at the right hand side of the field. A slight breeze blowing from left to right. But it's a glorious Sunday, very warm, and it's going to be very hard on the players to stick the full hour. The fittest team, I presume, will prove the winners in the end. Tom Casey, the Galbally captain, has got the list of players and Paddy Highland has taken him to Kevin Welch, the referee for today's game. Croom line out, Anthony Howard in goals, Michael O'Shea right full back, John O'Brien full back and Kieran Kiley left full back. Martin Kiley right half, Tony Kiley centre half and Pat Colhan left half back. Centre field Donald Murray and Jerry Murray. Right half forward, Garrett Howard, centre forward, Sean Breen, and left half forward, Gerard Collins. Right corner, Gerard Sheehan, full forward, Anthony Lawler, and left full, Peter Kiley. Galbally line out, in goals, Tom Quinlan. The referee is calling both teams now to the centre of the field to have a word with him before the game starts. <clears throat> this match has been played in a new venue for Galbally for a while in Kilmallock. The pitch has been increased in size and width and is looking in perfect condition. So there should be no excuses that the best team will win carry the day. Kevin Welch now is having a strong talk with both teams, I presume. Strictly warned them that to concentrate on the ball. <laughs> Galbally, of course, are shot their star player Mike Quish was holidaying in the USA at the moment. With the weather the way it is at the moment in Ireland, one would wonder why you would have to go abroad for your holidays. Now the players are going back to take up their positions. Galbally playing from left to right. Galbally team lines out Tom Quinlan in goals, right full back Jim Donovan, full back Gerald Carew, and left full back John Dillon. Right half captain Tom Casey, centre half John Dunn, and left half Tony O'Brien. Centre field John Scully and Mick Fraher. Right half Tim Cummins, centre forward Timmy Burke, left half Pat Hennebury. Right corner um, Mike Burke, full forward John Fraher and left full Johnny Cummins. The referee now is checking his watch for the start of the game. Lifts and throws it in. Six minutes to four o'clock. Mick Fraher feeds it. It's booted downfield by Croom. Croom full forward. Anthony Lala comes out. The ball breaks. Tim Cummins comes in. Caught by Mick Fraher but the referee deemed he touched it on the ground. Jerry Collins, number 12 for Chrome, about to take the free. A fairly high one down the centre, calling out to the left, fielded by Jim Donovan, but dropped again. The ball breaks out, fielded by John Scully, kicks a high one up the centre of the field. The ball breaks between Tim Burke, fielded again by Jerry Collins, who passes it to the left half back. McFraher covers up, 
ball into the full forward. Gerard Carew keeps on him. Passed out to the left corner forward. The kick's a high ball, a very calling one, and just wide on the left. As I said, a slight breeze blowing in favour of Galbley at the moment. Gerard Carew kicks it out to low and out to the wing. Corner forward Jim Donovan when the ball is kicks across the centre. Breaks loose and a free into Croom. This free is about 25 yards out, a bit on the left of the post. Number 15 for Croom, Peter Kiley, places the ball for the free. Kicks it across the goal to the right hand side, a high one. Blocked there by the chrome corner foul, but it's just gone wide. Jerkaroo coming up to take the kick out again. Better one this time. High out to the 50 yard line. The ball breaks. Field cut by Mick Fraher. Kicks a high one up more to the right. The ball breaks between the Croom and kicks it clear. Comes to John Scully, feels it. Kicks it out to Johnny Cummins' wing. Johnny pushed there, but no blow for a free. Back out again to Johnny Cummins. He boxes it out to Pat Hennebury. Pat kicks a high one across the goals. Goalie feels it and is blocked down by <laughs> Tim Bork. <coughs> Jerry Collins has it now going the solo and is covered off by Tim Bork. Free to Croom. Number six, Pat Culhane takes it for Croom. A high one out into the centre. Tony O'Brien box it down, fielded again by Mick Fraher, who's starting very well at centre field. Goes on a solo and up the right wing. Kicks a good one in across the centre. Mikey Buck goes for it. Boxes it out to John Fraher. But the ball falls onto the ground. Breaks out to Chrome centre back. Kicks it out into the centre. Blocked down by Tom Casey. Breaks loose. Tom cat catches it again, goes on a solo and kicks a high one in. Into the right corner, fielded by Mikey Buck, goes in and kicks the ball over the bar for first point for Galbley. <coughs> first score coming after about four minutes of the first half. The chrome keeper, Anthony Howard, now about to take the kick out from the 21. A high one out into the centre. Dropping down. Fielded by Jerry Murray. Comes towards the right wing. As then Timmy Cummins goes for it with Jerry Murray. Ball breaks. Timmy Cummins has it up and hits it with his left leg. A hard low ball down the wing. Caught again by Mikey Buck. Catches it a second time. Boxes it out to Pat Hennebury. Going towards the left. Pat boxes it back into Johnny Cummins. The ball breaks. Around the go Kicked out by the crew man. Out, hard low and out the centre. Tony O'Brien going with, with his men, stays very close to him. And the ball is kicked towards the right wing. Fielded by Tony Murray. Kicks a high one across towards Pat Collins. The ball breaks again by the chrome corner forward, Peter Kiley, into the centre. Been covered off by Jim Donovan. Still going ahead. And the free out, he over carried the ball. Tim Cummins calling for the battle already. It's very warm and close out on the pitch. Joe Carew takes the free. A high one out to this wing. Knocked down, breaks loose again. Jim Donovan on it. Boots it along the ground to Timmy Cummins. Timmy Cummins picks it up, goes through the centre on a solo run. Studying himself now for a kick. Lobs it in. Blocked down by Johnny in the corner. Johnny feels it. Can't get room to kick it. Surrounded by four crewmen. John Fraher kicks it. Blocked again into the crewman corner back. Who kicks it out to the left. Jerry Murray tackled by Mick Fraher. Mick stand very close to him and forced him to kick the ball out over the sideline. Good covering play there by Mick Fraher. 
Sideline ball on the 50 and the left side being taken by Donny O'Brien. Kicks a hard low one in, fielded by Pat Hennebury. Pat kicks it across the goals. John Fraher goes for it, breaks out towards the end line. And a free in there for Galbally. It's free to be taken by Johnny Cummins, about 10 yards in from the sideline, way over on the left side of the field. <coughs> Johnny come up to take it now. Hits it right across the goals, fielded by Anthony Howard on the goal, to kicks it out to the, this side of the field. The ball breaks there between Tom Casey. Across the centre, Patrick Hennebury gets it, boxes it out to Timmy Cummins, and it's boxed on there by the co-man, out over the sideline, very near the corner flag, up on the right-hand side. Sideline ball now being taken by Mikey Bork. Kicks a good hard one across the centre. Blocked down by John Fraher. And boxed in. It's cleared out by Anthony Howard. Out over the sideline here on the right hand side, just on the 50 yard line. Line ball to Galbally to be taken by Tom Casey. Tom coming up to take it now. Kicks a hard low one across the centre. Crowman out in front. Boxes it on to Jerry Murray. Jerry kicks a high one down the left wing. The wall breaks in the centre. Well blocked down by Johnny Dunn. Collected by John Scully. John goes in a short solo run. Kicks a hard low one on. But it's cut by the Crowman centre back again out in front. Lofts a high one out. The wall racing out towards the sideline. Jerry Carew comes out to collect. Picks it up. And clears a high one down along the wing again. Very high ball. Cut by Tom Casey. Tom hops it, goes in the solo and hits it into Mick. Mick Fraher. Ball goes cleared out by the crewman. Johnny Dunn goes for it, breaks off and collected by the crew full forward is out along with now from the goals. Gerald Crew, number 11, kicks it under pressure from Gerald Crew and hits it very wide on the right hand side. Galbley backs playing quite well at the moment. Kick out this time, out to the left wing. Fielded by number 10 for Crumble. Kicks the high ball in across. Caught by John Dillon inside. The ball breaks and is pushed by the Crumble and a free out from the Galbally Square. Gerald Carew to take the free for Galbally. A hard low one out to the middle of the field. Ball breaks off of Johnny Dunn's hand, fielded again by McFraher, a high one across the field, coming to Mikey Buck now, Mikey catches it, kicks it, a high one in, John Fraher fields it, John boxes it in to Mikey Buck, Kevin Will says it was a foul pass, free out to Crone from the 50 yard line. free now, a high one down the centre, well fielded by Jerry Collins for Chrome, who boxes it on to Jerry Murray, Jerry going solo and right through the centre, tackled by Johnny Dunn and foul. Johnny had much option at that stage, the crewman was going straight through. Peter Kiley, number 15, takes the free just outside the 21 yard line, right in front of the goals, and hits it over the bar. The first pint for Chrome after 10 minutes. Score now Galbally a pint, Chrome one pint. Jerk Crew taking the kick out from the 21. Straight out the centre, a high one. Broken down by Crowman number six. Covering back there by John Dillon. John kicks it out to the wing. Timmy Cummins covering back there. Over on the left, about 30 yards out from the Galbally goals. 
kicks a very high one up the centre. The ball is broken down the field by John Scully, broken by the crewman. Goes up long to the gallery 50, yeah. Johnny Cummins comes out, the ball breaks again. Caught by Jerry Murray. Cleared out again by Chrome. Five Free into Chrome on the 50 yard line. The hot ball on the 50 yard line, fielded by John Dillon. John kicks a low one up the middle. Pat Hennebury goes for it. Pushed by the crewman. Picks the ball off. Got away with it. The ball breaks again to Chrome. Number seven going through on a solo run. And covered by Pat Hennebury. Goes out towards the sideline. Kicks a very high one up in the air. Coming down about five yards out from the Galbi end line. Fielded by Johnny O'Brien. Johnny kicks a high one up the centre. The ball breaks to Tim Burke. Tim kicks a hard low one across the centre. Mikey Buck catches it. Kicks it in along the wing into John Fraher. John Fraher into Johnny Cummins. The ball breaks to number four, Kevin Kiley for Croom. He kicks a high one at the left leg, right out into the centre of the field. The ball breaks there by Croom. Get across him and Jerry Mullins. Jerry Collins gets it. He kicks a very high one up into the air. Coming down about 14 yards out from the Galbally line. Croom full foul went for it, but broke down. Jim Donovan fouled on the 14 yard line, free out for Galbally. Jerk Carew taking the free out just outside the 14 yards line, kicks it up the left wing. Well fielded there by Mick Fraher. Kicks a good hard ball up long, up to Johnny Cummins. Johnny gets it. Kicks it, it's blocked down by the crew man. Johnny comes in again, kicks it right across the field. Mikey Buck slips his man there well, going in along the wing. Keeps the ball on the ground, picks it up, and kicks a good hair ball across the square. Tim Buck goes for it, has it, about 21 yards iron. Picks it over the bar, very good point there from Tim Buck, well played. and now putting on the new tugs, number four, Kevin Kiley. Goalkeeper Anthony Howard comes to take the kick out after that pine from the 21 yard line. A very high one right out into the centre of the field. Ball breaks there off the crewman. Fielded by Tom Casey. Tom rides the tackle. Boxes it on to John Scully. John Scully boxes it on, but he's blocked down by the boom back. Kicks back again. Caught by Tim Cummins out in the centre. Kicks a high one in. Hops in front of the goals and right over the bear. Very good point from Tim Cummins. <laughs> Score now three points to one. Galbally leading. Quarter of an hour gone the first half. Anthony Howard taking the kick out after that pint. A very high one again out into the centre. Mick Fraher boxes it down. Fielded by the crew right half back, number seven. He kicks it very high up into the centre again. Well fielded by Tim Cummins back there on the half back line. And kicks it with his left leg but goes out over the line on the left hand side. About 70 yards out from. 60 yards out from the crew goals. Sideline ball to Chrome. Good ball down the centre. Ball breaks, fielded by Chrome and kick down again along the wing. The ball breaks off and the sideline ball. Galbally. Just over a quarter of an hour gone in play now. John Dillon kicks it, a high one, up into the centre. Runs on to Tim Burke who feels it. Challenged by two Chrome and kick a high one into the centre. Boxed down by John Scully. Out towards the corner. Fielded by the crewman who kicks it a very high one. Ball coming down. 
broken down by Johnny Cummins to Tim Burke. Tim kicks a high one in. The ball caught by John Frahal, who kicks it into the back at Nate. Great goal by John Fraher there, who kept his head very well and just placed the ball in the corner of the net. Kick out now from that goal to be taken by Anthony Howard. Kicks it straight out the centre again. High one coming down the middle of the field. Breaks again from the corner and caught by... John Fraher and free to Galbally. Mick Fraher takes a quick one across to Timmy Cummins. Timmy picks it up, kicks it hard and low in along into his brother Johnny. Johnny comes out for his and pops it into Mikey Burke, has it. Drops it, gets it back again. Comes in inside, takes a beautiful shot. A great point from Mikey Burke there on the run. Galbally really showing their superiority now at the moment and putting it where it matters, up on the scoreboard. The score now is Galbally 1-4, Croom 1 pint. About 17 minutes gone in the first half. Anthony Howard now again, kicking it out. Out to the right-hand side, fielded there by the Croom number seven, Pat Culhan, kicks it down. Cut by Croom. Centre forward, the ball comes out and breaks there. John Dillon covering up, kicks a high one out to the out centre of the field. John Scully fouled there by the crewman up on his back. And the ball frees 70 yards out from the Galbally go goals on the right side to be taken by Tom Casey. Taken by Tom Casey, good high one up the centre. Tim Burke boxes it on. It's caught by Johnny Bo Cummins, just breaks away from him. Johnny has it again, kicks it out to the left wing, out to his brother Timmy. Timmy gathers it on the left side, kicks a very high one in across the goals and just wide on the left-hand side. <laughs> Galbally definitely on top at the moment if they can keep up the pressure and, and put up more scores. Kick out from Anthony Howard, the shot from distance, broken on the, on the 50 yard line, fielded by the Chrome, number five. The ball breaks out to number seven. He kicks a drop kick up along the right wing. Ball fielded by Chrome and running in from Johnny O'Brien, goes for it. Well, brought down by John. Johnny Don, O'Brien back again, being safe there, catches it, kicks a hard one over to Tim Cummins, who's shouting for the pass on the right wing. Timmy feels it, kicks a low one in to his brother Johnny. Johnny gets it. Ball breaks up in the air, brought Go down, ahead, Tim Cummins has it again, kicks a high one in the centre with his left leg, wing shot, wing shot. John Fraher comes out to it, breaks wing from his hands, catches it and boxes it on to Johnny Cummins, Johnny Cummins way out on the right wing, kicks a hard one across the goals, Pat Hinnabry goes up for it, the ball breaks out and cleared out by the Cummins out, but Mick Fraher running on from centre field gets it, kicks a very high one in, great point from Mick Fraher there, really went for his score that time. Croom selector now moving in, making a switch on the team. Putting Donny Murray back and bringing Tony Kiley, I think, out centre field. And John time. McFraher. Ball kicked out by Anthony Howard. Fielded by Martin Kiley. Kicked by the Croom down the centre. The ball breaks again. Onto Johnny Murray has it, but drops it. Well covered by Jim Donovan. Jim Donovan staying on him. Kicks a low ball in. Chrome full forward has it now. Kicks it across the goals. Fielded by number 13. The ball is caught by Tom Quillen in goals. Tom comes out. The ball is lost, but it breaks out and Donny O'Brien gathers it. Donny playing very well there, but the ball breaks off his leg coming out towards the right wing. Mikey Buck, that's it. Down to Jerry Collins. Jerry ducks Timmy Cummins, goes in the centre, boxes it up high. The ball breaks again out to Chrome and number 10. 
or kicks a very high ball over the there. Garrett Howard scored the point there for Chrome. Ball to be kicked out now by Jarrah Crew after that pint for Chrome. Way out to the left wing. Gathered again by Mick Fraher at centre field, who's having a stormer. Mick kicks a very high one up into the centre. The ball breaks down there by Chrome and number two for Chrome boxes it out to his own man. Back again. Been tackled well there by the gun. Kicks it out into the centre. Ball breaks loose again. Kicked on by John Scully. Mikey Box running after number four. The ball breaks out again. Coleman has it, been worried by Mikey Buck, kicks a hard low ball up the centre, on to Jim Donovan. Jim gathers it and kicks a very high one up the right wing. Ball breaks out to John Scully. John kicks it into Johnny Cummins in a free on the 21 yard line for Galbi right in the centre. Eddie Ryan runs in with the bottom out to Tim Cummins. The heat beginning to tell at this stage. The ball is a small bit to the right on just outside the 21 yard line. Johnny Cummins relaxes before he takes the free. Johnny comes up to it, kicks it a good one right over the centre. Very good pint from John Cummins from that player's ball. The score now is Galbley 1 6, Chrome 2 pints. Ball kicked out from that point by Anthony Howdy. Very high one coming out towards this line here. Box on by, broken by Tom Casey. Out over the line from line ball from Chrome. Just near the centre of the field. A low one down the wing. Gathered by Jerry Murray. Free into Chrome. About 60 yards out, almost on the sideline. Kicks it down the left wing. Referee Kevin Welsh orders the ball back. Tony Kiley now to take that free again. Almost on the sideline. Just outside the 50 yard. Kicks it across the centre, a high one. Ball breaks inside. Fielded by Crowman, number 13. Ball breaks again. Referee Kevin Welsh moves in. It's hopping the ball. Ball goes in. Joel Carew fields it. Kicks it out towards the sideline. Mikey Buck makes a dash for it. The ball hops too high and beats him out over the sideline. Just on the 50 yard line again on the left hand side. The chrome corner back, Kevin Kiley coming up to take it. Kicks it down along the left wing. Ball caught there by Jim Donovan. The hits a very high one up the centre. John Dunn goes up for it and breaks down. To Jerry Murray, the chrome and boxes it out, slips and the ball falls on the field. Pat Kennebry comes in, boots it over along the left wing. Johnny Cummins in. Number two, race out for it. The ball very near the sideline. Kicked by the crewman out over the sideline, just on the 50-yard line. <coughs> Galbley playing some grand football at this stage. Open football and pacing themselves very well. The sideline ball just on the 50, kicked by John Scully. John kicks it in across the centre. John Fraher goes up for it, box out by the full-back. Back out to Mick Fraher again. Mick fields it, kicks it half over his head. And a pint, very good pint by Mick Fraha. Mick seems to be in great form today. There's no doubt, but goes for the score. 172 pints now. And about four minutes to go to half time. That ball has gone out into the Marquis tent here in Kilmallock. The festival closing here tonight. 
two balls thrown in from the sideline. Anthony Howard now placing the ball for the kick out from that point from McFrath. And he comes up to take it. <clears throat> Another high one right out into the centre of the field. Tom Casey goes up for it. The ball breaks down between himself and Jody Collins. Tim Buck comes in to cover up. The ball goes into the corner forward. Jim Donovan police and his man across the centre. Stays with him the whole time. Kicked in across the centre. The ball beats the full forward there inside. Chrome forward kicks it and it goes wide under pressure. Galbally backs playing very well. They're worrying their men to the last inch and putting the Chrome forwards under pressure, giving them no free shots at goals. Jerk Roo taking the kick out now from that wide ball. Out the centre on the 50 yard line. Breaks off a mix for his hands. Mick is in again but falls over under Chrome. And the ball kicked in inside, broken down by John Dillon. The number 10. John Dillon playing very well there at Carter back for Galby. Places a lovely ball out to Tim Cummins on the 50 yard line. Free. Tim's going to solo and up along. Gone past the centre. Boxes it out to Pat Hennebrick. Pat completely free now on the left. Goes on a solo run, studies himself and kicks a very high ball in. A lovely pint from Pat Hennebury there from 35 yards out. Galbury really taking their chances and not afraid to have a go at the goals. And it's paying off on the scoreboard now with Galbury 1-8 to 2 pints with about 4 minutes to go to half time. Anthony, Anthony Howard now to take the kick out. Typical one right out into the centre. McFraher goes up for fields it very well. And is boxed and fouled by the Coleman in the centre of the field. A free Kevin Welch, warning Donny Murray there not to be giving leap. The ball placed in the centre of the field by John Scully. Hicks a good long high one in into the 21 yard line, boxed on by Tim Buck. John O'Brien, the Chrome fullback, who hasn't been very <coughs> outstanding so far. Caught by Tom Casey, kicked in again, a low ball, breaks inside around it, cleared out by the crew man, under panic to the left wing, Pat Hennebury gathers it, out on the left, turns around, boxes it into Timmy Cummins, under 21, Tim surrounded now by two crew men, and fouled, out on the left wing, free into Galbally. John Cummins places the ball halfway out to the sideline on the 21 yard line. Stands exactly on the line, coming in across now. Kicks a hard low ball, it's fielded in the square by the chrome back. With solo runs out, kicks a drop kick out to the right wing and out over the sideline, just inside the 50 yard line. Mick Freher coming up to take this sideline ball now for Galbley. Good one in by Mick. Going towards the end line. Blocked by Johnny Cummins out near the corner. Johnny sends it in across. Fielded by John Fraher again. And free for Galbley. Is it a penalty? Yes. Referee Anthony Howard, the chrome goalkeeper, throws his cap in disgust. A penalty for Galbley. John Fraher there was practically through for another goal, which was fouled by the chrome man. The penalty this time to be taken by Mick Fraher. Coming up towards half time now. Mick coming up to take it now, comes up slowly. Hits it a hard one and just wide at the left post. Bit of a let half there for Chrome. Kick out after that, been taken by Anthony Howard. Just half time, right on the dot, fielded by Tim Cummins. Galbi have really been dominant in, in the first half. The outstanding part of their play has been their forwards.
get Jimmy O'Brien in it there, Jim. You see Jim O'Brien there, who since returning from England has become a very strong supporter of the Galbley team. Jim, of course, was a great player in his youth and I believe played with the Limerick County team, but we're delighted to see him taking such an interest in, in the Galbley Football Club. It's great to have people like that supporting the team as it helps to encourage the players. We see there a group with their backs to us, Jerry Sullivan on the left, Mike Hennebury in the centre, and Pedro Casey coming facing the camera. I think he isn't spotted at this stage, and Tommy Hennebury coming with the bottle of water with his knees bandaged up. Pedro is expounding now on what should be done, I think, at this stage. Out in the centre, the Galbley players are taken aside, and Eddie Ryan is giving him a lecture, no doubt impressing very severely on them not to, not to lose concentration at this speed and take it that they have the match won even though they leave by 1-8 to 2 pints, 11 pints to 2. Also out there we see John Deanahan, the Lord Mayor of Galby with his red togs, sub on the team today. Mike McGrath, Gerald Martin and Mike McCarthy. Kevin Welch now looking at his watch to start the second half. I noticed the Croom have brought Liam Fahey back into goals and Anthony Howard, number 11, seems to be out centre field. The ball broke down there by Tim Cummins, booted on by John Dunn, up along towards the left corner. Johnny Cummins comes out, gathers it low down. Johnny Torrens kicks a high one in again towards the left corner. John Fryer comes out, the ball hops very high in the hard ground, broken out, Mikey Burke catches it and is fouled. Second half started just about 26 minutes, 27 minutes to five. The match should be over at about two minutes past five. John Cummins taking this free now, halfway out to the sideline under 14 at a very sharp angle. Johnny comes up to it, kicks it a high one across the goals. Referee knocked down there by Tim Burke with the referee deemed that some of the Galbley players were in the square. The ball being placed by Liam Fahey for a free out for Chrome. Ball kicked out and breaks in the centre line. Pat Hennebury goes up for it. A free to Chrome. Right under 50 yard line. The ball kicked by the centre back. Right under 50 yard line. Out towards the right wing. A high one. Breaks off a Donny Vine, gathered by Tim Cummins. Tim kick comes very near the side and kicks a long one down the wing towards Johnny Cummins. Johnny is pushed there by the Croom corner back, a free into Galbley. About 40 yards out, right on the sideline. John Scully take this free for Galbley. A few yards in from the sideline, out on the left hand side. Kicks a high one right into the centre. Free out again. Kevin Welsh must have deemed that one of the Galbley men were in the square. To kick out from the corner of the square now to be. Chrome is bringing on another sub. Michal O'Shea, the right cornerback, 
coming off. The ball is kicked out now by Liam Fahey out to this wing. Ball breaks down. Broken down by Pat Hennebry out off the sideline. Tim Cummins goes down injured on the 50 yard line. Tim Cummins back up on his feet again. Seemed to hurt the muscle in his leg. And he's tired. Sideline ball taken by Croom on the 50 yard line. <laughs> Nearly knocked the commentator out of off the roof of the stand. Sideline ball for Galbally now. Referee Kevin Welch putting the selectors and supporters back a bit from the sideline there. Go on. <whistles> the Galbally sideline to be taken by Donny O'Brien. Donny kicks it down along the left wing again. Field it up and the ball breaks. Look, Mike bursts in. Boxes it out to Mick Fraher in the centre. Mick about 45 yards out, kicks a high one in towards the goals. Fielded in the goals by Liam Fahey. The ball cleared out. Referee Kevin Welch giving a free out. And Warren's Johnny Cummins there for tackling the goalkeeper. Temperature even at this stage seems to be getting hot. Liam Flahey kicks it out, comes down outside the 50 yard, broken down by Tim Burke to Timmy Cummins, kicks a high one in, the ball breaks there, gathered by Johnny Cummins about 14 yards out and Johnny kicks it clear over the bar, very good point there from Johnny Cummins, sharp and alert on the break of the ball and in like a shot to kick it over the bar. Nearly five minutes gone now in the second half with the score Galbally 1 9, Chrome 2 points. Kick out now by Liam Fahey, the Chrome goalkeeper, who replaced Anthony Howard in the second half. Kicks it out, out to the centre back. It was loose in the centre, kicks a high one up the middle. The ball hops very high. Broken down by John Dunn. Broken again by Johnny Dunn, who comes in and boots on the ball. Crewman boots the ball out over the sideline. Good, very good play there by Johnny Dunn in centre back. Forcing the crewman to kick the ball out over the sideline. Play now is about 60 yards from the Galbally goals on the right hand side of the field. Tom Casey comes up to take the sideline ball. <clears throat> a good long one from Tom, a very good ball down the right wing. The ball breaks there and caught by Mikey Burke over on the right wing, covered up by about three crewmen. Box it on for John Scully, who kicks it in across, broken off the crewmen, coming across the centre, gathered by John Fraher. John's kick is blocked down, but gathers it again. Kicks it a second time across the goals. The ball breaks to, do to Pat Hennebrey. Kicked by Mikey Burke, who just hit the outside of the post. John Cummins claim it was a goal. Referee Kevin Welsh taking Johnny Cummins' name there for the dispute in that key. Chrome had a very narrow escape there. Pat Hennebury and had looked maybe not for or John Fraher for another penalty there. <whistles> Kick out now by Liam Fahey. Out to the left wing this time. Ball going towards the sideline and goes out over the sideline. 45 yards out from the chrome goal on the right hand side of the field. John Scully to take this line ball for Gelbley. Most of the players now gone back into the chrome half of the field. The high one across, fielded there very well by Tim Burke, who kicks it across the goals and just wide on the right hand side. Galbling completely on top at this stage, if they can keep adding to that total on the scoreboard. The 
ball back in for the kick out been taken this time by John O'Brien whom we have seen very little of today but started at full back the last step for Chrome John O'Brien kicks it again out towards the left wing ball breaks there again out in the centre John Scully in it and then the ball breaks down the crewman feels it goes out towards the left kicks it blocked down by John Scully keeps it in play gathers it boxes it into the centre of Mick Fraher Mick gathers it on the 50 yard line kicks a high one right in across coming down to the goalkeeper's hands. In fact, he comes out, kicks it out the left wing to the loose crew man. They are 21 yards out from the crew. Ball kicked high up the wing. Fielded there by the crew number 15. Passed it to Peter Kiley, the centre back coming up. Kicks a high long ball up along towards the left corner. Crew sent full forward and Jared Crew out there near the line on the left. Kicks the ball in across. Fielded there by Johnny Dunn. Johnny is fouled just a few yards out from the end line. Free out to Galbally. Jerk Carew pressing the ball now for the free out. Goes back. Jerk Carew with the kick out, right out in the 50 yard line. Ball breaks there, cut by Tom Casey. Tom's kick is blocked down, breaks off of, and a line ball to Galbally. Tom to take this side line ball. Kicks a high one again down the wing. Right along the sideline, boxed on by Mikey Burke. We feel it by the chrome back there. Who does it solo on? It's released out towards the sideline. Kevin Wedge giving the free to chrome out near the sideline. Chrome and takes the free, kicks it up again along the left wing, ball very close to the sideline there, blocked in by the crewman, fielded by Tom Casey, playing very well there at right half back at the moment. Down the field, the ball breaks down by the crewman back, gathered again, he kicks a low one up along the wing, but out over the sideline. Crewman playing very dispirited at the moment. If Galbley can put their seriality on the scoreboard, they put the game out of the ball, breaks off a Tim Buck's hands. Gathered by Mikey Buck on the ground, hindered in the corner flag on the right hand side, turns, kicks a high one across the goals. The ball comes right across the goals, near the, very near the end line. Gathered by Johnny Cummins, right out on the corner flag. Johnny kicks another high one back across the goals. The ball comes out, breaks there, gathered by Liam Fahey, the goalkeeper, who kicks it out the centre. High ball there, walking by. Jerry Murray to Croman kicks it across the centre of the field. Tony O'Brien runs for it with the Croman. The ball breaks. Tony back in again. Very good play there by Tony O'Brien. Tony boxes it back to Johnny Dunn. Johnny Dunn kicks it across the field. Tom Casey running for it. Tom gathers it over on the right hand side. Kicks a low ball into John Scully. John gathers it on the 50 yard line. Kicks a hard ball across the centre. Timmy Cummins has been roaring for the pass there of five. Going through the centre now on the solo run. Shifts a bit to the left, it's a ball in, but field inside in the goal, goals by Liam Fahey and free out to Chrome. Free out from just inside the square taken by John O'Brien. Out the centre, the ball breaks there in the centre, gathered by Johnny Dunn, watching closely the ball there, gathered by Tim Burke, who was two about 30 yards out, being fouled by the Chrome but ball breaks out again, out for Chrome, out towards the sideline. Gathered by Jerry Murray there, who boxes the ball on to number six. And Kylie going on a solo run up the field. Nick Fraher moving in to cover up. He kicks the ball up along the left wing, and the ball goes out over the sideline, about 30 yards out. Sideline ball for Gelbley. About 13 minutes gone now in the second half. Jerk Carew takes the sideline ball just inside the 21, hits it up along the wing. The ball breaks out to Anthony Howard in the centre, kicks a hard run in. The ball breaks over Jerk Carew and the full forward, running towards the end line. John Dillon gathers it, boxes it out to Jerk Carew. Ball breaks, Jerk gathers again, kicks it with his right leg out, gathered by the crew forward on the 21 yard line out near the centre, boxes it into the centre. Jerry Murray going through and is fouled on the 21 yard line.
Kevin Welch putting Johnny Dunn's name in there in the book for a tackle. This free for Coombe. Kicked, kicked up and blocked again. Blocked by Timmy Cummins. Cut by Johnny Dunn. Kicks it out towards the sideline again. Mikey Burke moving back there, covering up. The ball breaks between himself to Coombe and gathers it. Out very near the sideline now. Looking around for someone to pass it to. The ball comes in. Cut by Jerry Murray. Kicks a high one across. Ball breaks off him. Kevin Welch awards a free in to Croom. Penalty. Just turn it. A quarter, but coming up to a quarter and for 14 minutes into the second half, this penalty for Chrome. It'll be a vital one for Chrome. Might get them back into the game now if they score this penalty. The score at the present is Galbally 2, Chrome 2 points, Galb 1 9. Penalty well struck by Chrome. The goal. Jerry Collins, the Chrome corner forward, that scored that goal for after penalty. Jerry Carew takes the kick out now after that goal for Chrome. Out the centre, the ball coming down right in the centre. Fielded by Jerry Collins. Kicks a high one back in again. Jerry Carew completely on his own, fields it. Kicks a high one back out towards the sideline and this side. Jerry Collins goes up to it again, fields it. Very near the sideline. <laughs> Referee Kevin Welch blows him for a foul pass. Free to Galbley. About 55 yards out on the left side. Landoni O'Brien places the ball for the free. Galbley want to step up their play now a bit and not leave Chrome back into the match again. Donny O'Brien kicks it a high one down the wing. Tim Burke comes out for it, gathers it. Hops the ball on the ground, kicks it in across. High one gathered by John Fraher. John hops it, kicks a hard low ball in. Fears off to the left and wide. John O'Brien to Chrome fullback, kicks it out to this side for a change. Fielded very well by Tim Cummins, kicks the ball low in along the wing into his brother Johnny. Johnny fields it, cuts in across the centre, goes on a solo run, ducks the Chrome man right across the centre, now about 25 yards out, takes a kick and is just put off by the Chrome at the last minute and the ball just goes wide on the right hand side. Good run by John Cummins there. Chrome kick out again. John O'Brien again taking the kick out for Chrome. Right out to centre this time. Coming down the ball breaks, gathered again by Tim Cummins. Kicks it out, out the wing again to John Cummins. Bit far out for him. The Croom back races out, gathers the ball out near the corner flag. Tackled by John Fraher, a free out to Croom. A high ball. And Chrome out right out into the centre of the field. The ball is knocked down, gathered again by Tim Cummins. Tim kicks it down the wing, down to his brother Johnny, very near the sideline. And the 21 into the 14, hits it inside. Mikey Burke goes for it. The ball breaks out over the sideline and wide. Another kick out for Chrome. Galbley had put on a lot of pressure in the last 10 minutes, but it got no score into the centre of the field. The ball is broken down again there by Tim Burke, fouled. Mick Fraher gathers it and is fouled. About 60 yards out from the Chrome goal. John Scully to take this one. Outside the 50 yard line. A bit to the left of the goals. John studies himself, comes up, kicks it a very high one right pulling right into the corner of the goals field, blocked down inside by the Chrome back, who comes out, kicks it out to the sideline, towards the sideline, followed by the Chrome and will he make it? Just blocks him going over the sideline, breaks out to Ting Cummins, loose on the left wing, Ting goes on a solo run in. Tackled by Jody Collins, kicks the ball across the goals, the ball breaks to 
Tim Burke and cleared out by Crone. Cleared out there by Crone, kicks it down the wing. Jim Donovan vigilant there and foul. Well played by Jim Donovan there. He watched the ball and made a vital clearance for Galbley. At that stage, Crone seemed to be putting on a very important attack there. The ball right on the 50 yard line, kicked by Jerk Carew, kicks it up the left wing, going towards the sideline, gone out, hits the flag, and out over the sideline, 70 yards on the Croom side of the field. Just 20 minutes gone now, the ball fielded by Jim Donovan back in his own 50 yards line, kicks a very high one up along the right wing. Ball coming down, breaks Mikey Burke, comes to Timmy Burke. Hits it in along the wing. John Fraher runs for it with the full back. John O'Brien. John O'Brien fields it inside. Hops it. Kicks a low one out along. Referee Kevin Wedge giving the free to Chrome inside. The ball kicked quickly by Chrome up to up to Collins, up to centre. The ball coming right up to centre now. The ball breaks out. Come broken by Jarrod Crow. Breaks again to the Chrome man. Box it in for the right wing. John Dillon going for it to Chrome. Jesse Kennedy the Chrome corner forward. Well played by. John Dillon who worries him really. Johnny Dunn comes out for boots it hard out over the sideline on the 21 yard line. Chrome putting under pressure now, trying to reduce the lead. Ball kick by Jesse Kennedy, lobs in. And out over the line. Wide ball. The score now, Galbally 1-9. Room one two seven pints in it with just over ten minutes to go. Tom Quinlan places the ball for Jerk Crew. Jerk Crew kicks it, miss the screws off his leg, goes out over the sideline, about 30 yards out from the Chrome goal and from the Galbilly goal on the right hand side. Jerry Collins to take the sideline ball. Play has gone quite dead. The players beginning to show the effects of the severe heat at the moment. Collins takes the sideline ball, hits it across the centre. Ball breaks off at Tom Casey's hands. It fielded by Donny O'Brien, blocked down by the Chrome, gathered by Mick Fraher, lost again. Chrome and kicks it, blocked down again. Breaks in and gathered by Donny O'Brien. Donny kicks a very high one out the centre. The ball in front of Tim Burke. The ball boxes around to Mikey Burke, who's playing through with 70, 60 yards out, coming up to the 50. Nobody in front of him, races towards the Chrome goals, 30 yards out. Mikey studies himself, tackled by the two Chrome men, and the ball goes wide. Ball, quick kick out now by John O'Brien to Chrome and Tim Cummins fields at 50 yards out. Tackled by Jerry Collins. Kicks it into his brother Johnny. Johnny gathers it right, 30 yards out, hits a very high one and it glances off to the right and wide. Another kick out now for Chrome. About seven minutes left to play. Right out into the centre, Tim Burke and Timmy Cummins goes up for the ball breaks between the two of them, the crew man gathers it. And Mick Fraher trying to block down the one, high one up the centre. The ball hops, blocked down by John Dillon, back to Donny O'Brien. Donny kicks it along the ground, two very good clearance there by Donny O'Brien. Battered again in the half line by the crew man, keep. Boxes it on the centre, the ball breaks there again, the crew man number 15 gathers it about. 45 yards out on, on the left. Chrome trying to open up the play now, gathered on the left wing by Chrome, coming across the centre. Gathered inside, very well held by Jericho Lowe inside in the corner there, and kicks the ball out. The ball hops high, comes to Tim Cummins, yes. Kevin Welsh comes over, warns Jerry Collins, not before time. He was inclined to use his fist a lot on Tim Cummins. Free to Galbi now about 35 yards out from their own goals on the right hand side. Jerkaru takes the free, kicks it out to Donny O'Brien. Kicks it back, Kevin Welsh didn't allow the free there. He's born him one of the crewmen severely in the centre of the field.
The free now taken by Gerald Carew with about six, six or seven minutes to go. 40 yards out from the high went down into the centre. Tim Fork goes very high for but the ball breaks to Chrome. Mick Fratter working very hard there. Didn't give up and got in and got to kick the ball across the field. It just goes over the side and beats John Scully out to the side and 35 yards out from the Chrome goal. Chrome and trying to show signs of panic now taking their freeze very quick. Kicks the ball across the centre. Gathered by the centre back. Delbley had a bit more vigilant there and might have been able to capitalise on that. Ball broken down by Donny O'Brien. Tim Cummins ever on, on looking for a loose ball. Hits a lovely ball down to Pat Henry. Pat out on the left wing at the half line. Kicks it across to John Scully. 40 yards out from the scrum goals right in the centre. Ref Kevin Welsh allows a free to, to Chrome. Chrome coming up now, 70 yards out from their own goal. Hits the ball back across the centre of the field. Coming right through the centre. Free to Chrome just outside the 50 yard line, right in the centre of the field. The players beginning to show the effects of the heat now. Some of the heads inclined to go down at this stage. This free from Chrome. Hit across, Chrome going in direct at it. The corner forward, Jesse Kennedy comes out. Box it back into the centre. Chrome hits a hard low ball in the middle. Kicks the ball wide. Galbally backs didn't panic there, and Jerry Collins hit the ball wide from a very good scoring position, about 14 yards out. Five minutes exactly left now to play. Tom Quinlan places the ball for Jer Carew from this kick out. Jer hits a good one, right out, coming down about in the centre of the field. The ball breaks to Donny Murray, hits it across the centre again. Boom, going in directly at it. The ball hops in the centre. Boom, I would say, inclined to overplay the ball at this stage. Hits it out to the left wing. Tom Casey in there, worries his men. So at this stage, he, he falls down. Boom would seem to be getting over at the ball. and. The ball breaks out again to Chrome. Ball fielded by Tom Casey. Kicks it back to Jim Donovan. Jim Donovan gathers it and comes bursting out the field, but it goes on the solo and is fouled by a kick trip there from the Chrome man. Chrome, in my estimation, totally frustrated at this st stage, not inclined to go for scores, kicking the ball over and across the goals and getting nowhere with it. Jerkaroo now coming up to take the free, 35 yards out fairly near the sideline on the far side of the field. Gerald places it. Players at this stage gone very dead, but about three minutes to go. Good ball from Gerald, right out to centre. The ball breaks off Mick Fratter's hand, cut by Anthony Howard, kicks a hard one up to centre. Gerald Carew vigilant again in the centre. He's fouled by the full forward, but gets away with it. The ball breaks out, goes the sideline. Covered by Gerald Carew, and the referee of the MC has fouled it. The free for Chrome on the 21 yards line, about 10 yards in from the sideline. With just about three minutes left to go. Kicks it right across the goals. Blocked down by Jerk Carew. The ball breaks, Jerk gathers again. Go blocked up by the Chromeman. Kicks it out over. The best thing to do at this stage. Kick the ball right out over the, out of the field, out over the stand. Onto the new road in Kilmallock. Sideline ball for Chrome, just inside the 14 yard line on the right hand side. With two and a half minutes to play left, Galbally still leading by one nine to two points. Sideline ball for Chrome now, been taken. Shot one in along. Chrome full forward comes up, in my estimation, picks the ball off the ground, kicks it across the goal. It's a very high one, break there, boxed by the Chrome forward, out over the end line and wide. Tom Quinn in place in the ball now with two minutes to go. Ger Carew coming up to take it. Kicks it right out the centre. The ball breaks down there in the centre. Cut by the full Chrome forward. Who boxes it right in the centre. And kicks a hard ball. Pine for Chrome.
about a minute and a half to go. Two minutes past five, Jim, wasn't it? That's what I said. Yeah. Jer Corona taking the kick out from the 21 after that chrome pop. Find. A long spell of play that were out of score for either side. Boxed on by Ting Cummins, coming out towards the side and gathered by, by Johnny Murray. And fouled by Mikey Buck for in the other sideline. Johnny Murray places the ball for the kick. Time running out for Cromer, kicks the high one in. The ball is caught inside by Anthony Howard. Fouled by Jim Donovan. At about 25 yards out. Wide ball. Fair to muzzle around the Galbley goals there. Galbley backs weren't quick enough to mark up from, from this quick freeze. They're not taking up the main quick enough. And we're lucky to get away with that as the ball scrambled over and back across the goals and just went wide. Ball has been placed now by Ger Carew. The time practically up. Kick out now by Ger Carew. Very good one this time. Right out into the centre. The ball breaks. They're gathered by Tim Cummins. who kicks a very hard quick ball down the centre. Lovely ball. The ball goes runs on to John Scully. A bit of shamazan there between John Scully and John Fraher. And the ball is, is lost. Breaks out to the clue and Johnny Murray gathers it in the centre. Kicks it hard low and up the centre. Johnny Dunn found Jerry Collins, which is the proper thing to do in that situation. Johnny Murray coming up to take the free now. Kicks it from outside to 50. Very high one. Lobbing in inside. Fielded by Jerry Murray inside. It's kicked block down, saved by Tom Quinlan in the goals. Good cover up play there. And Kevin Welsh blows the final whistle with the score Galbally 1 9, Chrome 1 3. So Galbally deservedly South Champions for 1982. Galbally put up a very good display in the first half, especially, and proved themselves by far the better team on the day, which we knew all along they were but didn't seem to be able to produce it against Chrome. They have beaten teams which are far superior to Chrome, but in the first half to today played outstanding football. And both teams seem very tired in the second half. This is a very good win for Galbally. So at long last, the saga between Chrome and Galbley seems to be reaching a conclusion with Galbley proving a far superior team today, the 1982 champions, with the 1981 championship still to be played off in a replay as the match ended in the draw about three weeks or a month ago. It's very good to see the Galbley team playing so well without my wish today, as a lot of people hadn't the confidence that they would be able to do it without him. Somebody is sunbathing here on the roof of the standing kill Malik with the hot galvanized underneath him. Yeah. Dr. McCallaghan, the secretary of the South Ward, out there in the centre of the field. I see him talking to Pedro Cousin. Pat Monane, the chairman of the South Board, now making a speech on the presentation of the Cup to Galbley captain Tom Casey. Galbally team and supporters gathered in the centre of the field, listening to the speech being made by Pat Monan.
Tom Casey receives the cup and deservedly Galbley are now officially South Champions for 1982. Tom Casey now being called on to say a few words. Everybody beginning to show the effects of the heat now, not alone the players, but the supporters are just about able to waddle around. Yeah. So with that, the good news for the 1st of August 1982 from this new pitch in Kilmallock. Galbally's first game on the new pitch and they really shone out today, especially as I said in the first half, took Grant's golden chance. Are you, are you shooting now? The Galbally team line up for their photograph after the 1982 South Champions Championship. <coughs> Harry Greensmith taking an official photograph for the press. The team is lined out on the front row from left, Johnny O'Brien. Um, Johnny Deanahan, Mayor of Galbally. Dana, Dan Cronin. Um, the old site isn't too good with me at this stage. I think it's John Scully, Tom Casey. Mick Fraher, Gerald Carew, Johnny Cummins, Tom Quinlan, Johnny Dunn, Timmy Cummins and Mike McCarthy sitting on the front. The back row from the left. Sit down. Jerry Sullivan, Mikey Bork, Jim Donovan, John Fraher, Tommy Hinnebury, Dave Casey, Tom, Pat Hinnebury, Mikey McGrath, Tim Bork, John Dillon and... Gerard Martin at the end. The crew selectors now have come in to congratulate the Galbally team after the match. Right, yeah. 